All right, what am I up to now? I have this 20 pin BMW OBD1 adapter which I plan to modify. I need to make it flashable adapter, meaning at the moment, the way it is, I can connect it to the car, E36 car I have, and read the diagnostic codes and log also via other software like ROM Rider, not an issue. However, if I want to modify the flash in the ECU of the MS41, the tune, this will not work. The problem is that when this adapter is out of the box, you can only read the data but not write to the ECU. Because on the MS41 ECUs, to be able to flash the tune to the ECU, you need to apply programming voltage to the ECU. And this means that two pins in the diagnostic connector have to be bridged to apply the uh, programming voltage. That would be pin 14 and pin 18 in order to apply the voltage and then flash your tune to the ECU via MS41 Quick Flash or any other flashing software of your choice. So I do have an adapter which I had been using with a jumper switch for a while now. Unfortunately, it broke. The connection comes and goes. I was not able to locate where the break in the wire is. So basically I ordered a new one. I mean, these are like 10 bucks online, so pretty cheap. And now I'm gonna open it up and solder a bridge in there to be permanently applying programming voltage to the ECU when connected. A switch is actually not necessary. I know on some forums online it says, oh, you need the switch only uh, for the programming voltage and if you're not programming it, turn it off, otherwise there'll be issues. I was running the car with this connector, the old one under the hood for, I don't know, two, three years and lots of times just leaving the jumper in the on position to apply the voltage even when just logging or driving and I never had any issues. So I'm gonna forego the switch, an actual switch in here and I'm just gonna permanently bridge the two pins and so that's it and let's get started on this first disassemble this locate the pins and solder a jumper in it let's see if it works so basically i took the cover off and located the two named pins which i need to jump which is number 18 it actually has a small written number here it says 18 and pin 14 which is this guy here so you have the black and the red cable or wire in this case and i have to apply a jumper here and that should all be all to make it work so let's try it okay i have a small jumper cable i made here which in theory i'm just gonna solder to this pin first, which is pin 18. This thing is pretty hot. Now solder it, which I have to be careful. I don't touch anything else. Okay, just fuck this up. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I can burn the edge here, but this now is Connected to this one. I have to trim this off here. That was unintentional. But it's really small here and the iron is really big. So now I have the pin 18 jumper connected. And now I need to just more or less solder it to this guy. 14. If this works, I don't know. Flux in here. And just heat this up. I'm trying to get it. I don't want to burn the plastic again. This is really annoying. I hope I got it. I'm trying to put a little bit more solder on it, just to be sure. Well, it seems to be connected. 
connected. I guess I'm gonna measure it, see if I get, if it's uh, correct. Come on now. So I think that's passed through. So I have to backtrack a little bit because I did a mistake by accident. I made a mistake and jumpered pin 19 to 14. I just realized it when I was finished. So basically I had to redo the whole thing over again. And now finally soldered pin 14 here with a jumper. I used also a little bit thicker gauge wire just to be safe. And then to pin 18, which is this one. It's the empty one actually, before I had to connect it to here, which is to ground. So basically what would have happened is it would have gone up in smoke, ground to power. Um, probably just melted the wire. I just caught it when I was uh, just double checking my work with the connectors and counting. Yeah, basically missed that. I don't know how, but I did. So now it's all soldered, the pin 18 to pin 14 with the power. And this should now be usable flash connector with the programming voltage applied to pin 18 permanently. Now, I'm only gonna use this one for when I really flash. Before I had it in the car the whole time and after a while there was some loose connection. I mean, I'm not surprised because when you look at this, the way it was soldered in here also, very fragile stuff actually and not really meant to be on the car for long or driving around with it too long. Anyhow, I now have a new connector now and now I can able to flash again and do some changes if required to my tune.